I finally finished this powder room and I cannot be prouder of myself. I love it. It is exactly what I envisioned and it turned out beautifully. And I want to show you. I've never done anything like this. It was the most challenging thing that I've ever done. And that's why I think I am so proud of myself. I turned a dresser that I found for $30 um, at an antique auction and um, turned it into my vanity in my powder room. So I'm gonna show you the entire process. And I, I just, I gotta tell you, I couldn't be prouder. I don't want to give myself a pat on the shoulder and I hope you like it too, but I just noticed I haven't caulked the sink area. I haven't quite decided whether I'm going to do white or clear. I'm not sure yet, but it's not totally done, but it's mostly done. I have finished the dresser part. I have, um, I'm just waiting for a part that I ordered on Amazon to come in to connect my drain to the, um, the P-trap underneath it. So as soon as that comes in, I'll connect that and then it'll all be done. But I, you know, that is minor compared to everything else. And I'm just so elated and let me, I just, I can't wait to show you around. So I'm going to stop babbling, but to tell you the truth, you know what, God help me because I laid hands on it finally <laughs> and it worked. So anyway, come on in, let's squeeze into this powder room and let me show you around. So if you remember, after part one, I installed this board and batten wall in the powder room. And my next part was to remove this pedestal sink. So every video I've watched says to just disconnect the water line from the on off Thing and um, remove the P-trap. They don't have this part coming out of the wall. So I went to um, the hardware store. I was not sure what that other line was. And at Ace Hardware down the street, I thought I'd give it a shot. Actually, I prayed about it. <laughs> and um, honestly, I when I went there, they were so helpful. And they told me, a gentleman told me that it, that line is more than likely a drain for like my AC unit because you've seen that before. And as a matter of fact, my AC unit is directly above this bathroom. So he said that if I removed the connection from the, what is it called? It's a, called a P-trap that, um, and which I really didn't have to do. I just had to leave it alone. It wasn't connected to the sink or anything. So I just disconnected everything that the video said and I will reconnect everything to my new sink in just a minute. But he said you might have a little water like in the P-trap, but other than that, everything would be fine. So I did it. And so anyway, I couldn't get this loose, but I had to really cut, I had to cut along here and it's gone. So excited. Next you'll see my sink in place. So here's my dresser that I'm going to put my vanity on. My plan is to paint it in this dusty blue color, the base, and then I'm going to stain the top and get it ready for the, um, the that, um, that full thing. And everything is going just great. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. Yeah, yeah. I always knew that this would happen. Yeah, you would find a new distraction. I need you more, need you here more than I would like to admit. Can we let go of tomorrow? Yeah, you never break, you never lie, you never ever scare. After I stain the top, I found out exactly where the center would be for the sink 
and I marked where the hole would be. And then I placed the faucet and marked where that hole would be, and then drilled. If you've ever used a hole saw attachment for, let's say a door, um, it always has like a drill bit in the middle of it so that it grabs onto the wood and keeps it in place. This attachment didn't have it. So I was having an issue getting the hole to line up, but once I got started, it grabbed onto the wood and it was easy to, hold, to saw through. And if you remember in one of my um, Habitat for Manity haul videos, I bought this sink for $45 there and I found the faucet on Amazon for $45. So this has been a very economical bathroom redo and I couldn't be happier with the way it turned out. I measured each side to make sure that it was center. I did it before I I drilled the hole just so you know, but um, it was at least, I think there was like nine and a half inches clearance on each side. So once I figured out where uh, my, my plumbing was, I measured the distance it was from each side so that I knew exactly what part of the back of this dresser I needed to remove. So then I created um, pilot holes in the back of the dresser so that I could jigsaw that opening in the back. I ended up laying it down because it was a lot easier to use my jigsaw. I then attached the faucet according to manufacturer's directions. Now that my dresser is ready, I removed the pedestal sink. sink and I cut pretty well around there. I'm not sure what this, it's not wet. It doesn't really do anything, but anyway, I am going to scrape off this and then um, fill in some of these holes that I have to take off some of these screws for, take off the mirror. And then I'm going to paint in here. So Get it ready for my new sink. So I need a flexible drain thingy so that it fits into that P trap. I found one on Amazon, so it'll take a couple of days to get here. In the meantime, I'm going to adjust my drawers. So my bottom drawer, all I had to do was cut out a little um, part of the back of the drawer and it fit. it's gonna fit fine. The middle drawer, that's what this is. I had to cut out a whole middle section of it and kind of make the drawer so that it fits around the pipes. So that's what I'm doing here. I cut out, I believe the wood is half inch thick wood and um, I just made a little box around the opening and attached it. Just so you know, this was scrap wood I found in my garage. That's why 
part of it was just something I was messing with. I want to give it some clearance. I could do seven inches, but that's really not going to give me anything over here. Hmm, how would I do this? I could make it narrower on the inside. I don't really need all that much on the outside here. So maybe three inches on center from here. Let's see here. So from right here, I think if I did three inches on either side, that would give me plenty of space. I could still use my drawer. It would just be three inches in. I can't wait to show you. Come on in. Okay, so the little rack, coat, coat rack, I found it Round Top Antique Festival several, several years ago. But I have a little hanging basket of flowers. But look at that darling dresser. It's just what I wanted. I Mind you, I still have to um, attach that pipe um, to the drain. But other than that, it's perfect. The drawers came out great. Remember the sink I bought at the Habitat for Humanity? The light fixture up there I bought at light Habitat for Humanity for $35. And the mirror I found at Hobby Lobby. love how this bathroom turned out. It's so cute. That um, toilet paper holder I found at Habitat for Humanity for $6. I got some some good deals there. Wanna be free of this heart Yeah Wanna feel your arms around me I need you more I need you here More than I would like to admit Let's forget about tomorrow, yeah Should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again Hold you tight, call you mine Think about you every time I remember that it's over, yeah You never break, you never lie you never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Yeah, yeah You never lose an argument So I've been trying hard to pretend That I'm okay It's just a phase And everything is going just great Think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Yeah, yeah I always knew that this would happen Yeah You would find a new distraction I need you more I need you here More than I would like to admit Can we let go of tomorrow? Yeah you never break, you never lie You never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop, yeah, yeah You never lose an argument So I've been trying hard to pretend That I'm okay it's just a phase, and everything is going just great I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop Yeah, yeah